Lunch will be ready in five minutes, Garfield. We should have never let computers control so much of our lives. We could have stopped them from enslaving us if only we had... Could have stopped them if what? How could we have stopped them? TV? I want my TV. Come back, come back. Picture, huh? Ah, looks like the cable's out again. I'll go call. How could you leave me like this? Haven't I been an attentive friend? Haven't I watched you like night and day? You have reached the cable TV company. Press one to start. For English, press two. For tech support, press nine. If you live on the west side, press four. I hope they hurry. I have to find out how to stop the computers from enslaving us. Press 8 if your last name begins with the letters A through M. Oh. Garfield, I have to go check the casserole. Listen on the phone and let me know when a human being comes on the line. That could take months. I'm not sure they have any at that company. Press 5 if your TV set is color. Press 2-9 if there is a potted plant on top of your TV set. Press 316 if it is a fern. Huh? Boy, they want to know everything. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. That's so comforting to hear. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Oh. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. If it's so important to you, why don't you take it? Press 8 if you're fed up with listening to this terrible music. <gasps> Press 7-7 seven, seven if your eyelids are getting heavy. <laughs> Press 9 if you're about to have a dream sequence. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. <laughs> Press 5 if you would like a pizza. <laughs> yes. if you would like pepperoni. Of course. Uh... You have ordered pepperoni. Press three if you would like extra cheese. Uh, I want extra, extra, extra cheese. You have ordered extra, extra, extra cheese. Press five if you would like anchovies. No, 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 I don't want anchovies. You have ordered anchovies. Huh? No, I didn't order anchovies. <laughs> You have ordered more anchovies. No, I don't want more anchovies. Uh, how do I get rid of anchovies? You have ordered tons of anchovies. No! Uh, I have to get out of that house. Press 9 if you would like to get out of that house. <laughs> Hey, leave me alone. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order received. How can I get across this street? If you would like to cross the street, press 4. <gasps> Isn't so bad. If you would like to send.
and normal to the planet Beta Blue in the freeing galaxy Prem 26. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this. <laughs> I've stopped liking this. How do I stop a herd of charging elephants? Oh. If you would like to stop a herd of charging elephants, press 5, 2, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 3, 8, 8, 9, oh, no. 2, 8, 2, 1, 4, 8, 9, 2, 6, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 1, 9, 7, 4, yeah. I needed that. I really needed that. Can't talk to you now. I have to get back on hold. How long have you been on hold? I don't know. What year is this? You've been on hold as long as I've been on hold. 63 years. 63 years? Why don't you just hang up? Can't I lose my place? They're going to answer my call in the order in which it was received. We've all oh. been here so long, waiting on hold. None of us even remember who we're waiting to have pick up on the other end. I'm not sure, but I think I was ordering a surfboard. Something has to be done about this. I need to come up with a brilliant idea. If you would like a brilliant idea, press 7. <gasps> As you can see, I have a brilliant idea. And this isn't an old-fashioned brilliant idea, no sir. This is one of those long-life energy-saving brilliant ideas. No, oh, you can't reason with them. There's nobody to talk to. Then I'll have to find someone I can talk to. I'll have to find a human being. <gasps> Any? Someplace there's one, and I'm gonna find him. <laughs> if you would like to find him, press five, one. See? Huh? <laughs> press five if you would like a pizza. <laughs> okay, so where's this human being? Human being! There he is! If you would like to go in where the human is, press 1. If you would like to go to the South Pole, press 2. Oh no, I meant to press 1. I would like to go back where I was! If you would like to go back where you were, press 7. Oh. Enough! I am now going to talk with an actual human being. Hey, where are the humans? Humans? There are no humans. No humans? No, and there haven't been in years. By the way, your call is important to us, so stay on the line. <gasps> no humans? In here we've been worried about computers taking over. That happened long ago. But don't worry, your call will be answered in the order received. Uh, I get it now. You get rid of all the humans. You have them all trapped on hold. Trapped there for all eternity. Well, you won't get away with it. I'll stop you. I'll tell the world. If you would like to tell the world, press 8. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. Oh, no, stop. Oh, 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 o
They don't want to be on hold. They don't want to press anything to do anything. Just stop it on the music. Stop! Stop! Garfield, can't you hear the door? Go answer it! <gasps> Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Huh? Your call will be answered in the order received. <sighs> About time he answered. I just wanted to tell you your cable TV was out, but we fixed it. You get any more trouble, call us at this number. Press 1 for tech support. Press 2 to schedule an appointment. Press 3 to cancel or reset. No, no, it's a trick. Y you're trying to enslave us all. Well, you won't get me. I won't get trapped on hold for the rest of my life. You can't fool me. You won't answer my call in the order received. No! Hmm, Garfield hasn't been acting like himself lately. I better take him into Liz's office for a checkup. To continue this call in English, press 1. To speak to Liz, the veterinarian, press 3, 6. To hear our office hours, press 8. To return to the opening menu and start all over again, press 2. To continue this call in English, press 1. Garfield, you agreed we'd exercise every afternoon. Uh, I must have been delirious from lack of pie or something. Let's go jogging. It's time for physical activity. Here's my idea of physical activity. I'll let you off now, but later we're going jogging. I'm missing my favorite game show, Million Dollar Name That Fish. No, I will not throw that stick so you can go fetch it. I have to go watch Million Dollar Name That Fish. Hey, Garfield. <sighs> Time for the meeting. Meeting? What meeting? The meeting of the International Normal Fan Club. You promised me that if I left you alone for an entire week, you'd come to the meeting. <sighs> Who's the president of this club? I am. Who's the vice president of this club? I am. How many members do you have? Just me. Meow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, in days like this, I wish I could be in about eight places at the same time. and welcome to TV's top game show, Million Dollar Name That Fish. On today's show... We interrupt Million Dollar Name That Fish for this breaking news story. What could be more important than Million Dollar Name That Fish? We have reports that Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers has perfected a device that will enable him to clone or otherwise perfectly duplicate another person. Oh, here's Dr. Bonkers now. Dr. Bonkers, is there any truth to the rumor that you are cloning people? What? Absolutely not. That rumor is absurd. Well, there you have it, straight from the source. Cloning people? A ridiculous idea. Whoa! And now we know. Dr. Bonkers is not using new cloning technology to create duplicate human beings. Where do people come up with such things? We now return you to Million Dollar Name That Fish. Gee, it would be nice to have a clone or two of myself around. I could go jogging with John and stay home and watch TV. I could send myself out for sandwiches. I could... <sighs> I could look into this. If you are here to ask about my cloning ray, pussycat, you're wasting your time! <laughs> Do not want the public to know about it until it's perfected! <laughs> I have to go. I'm 
that sign this league is having a baseball game tonight. I am the entire starting lineup. Oh my, he left the cloning ray completely unguarded. It would be wrong of me to borrow it and take it home and make duplicates of myself. If anyone asks, tell him my evil clone took it. Excuses, Garfield. We're going out jogging. Now! Sure, just give me a second. <laughs> Garfield? I hope you're ready to run now. Ready for the 50-mile hike? Now, maybe I can watch TV and... <laughs> One moment, please. Come on, boy. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. I'll go find Nermal while you watch TV. <laughs> Why, thanks, handsome. <laughs> what good is having a fan club if I don't have any fans? Hey, Nermal, where's the meeting? The meeting? Of your fan club. <gasps> I actually have a member for the International Nermal Fan Club. Awesome. Oh, this is great. I don't have to do anything. My clones do it all for me. Now, Mrs. Bonnie Lou Underberger of East Moline, Illinois. For one million dollars and a jar of tartar sauce, name that fish. Uh, halibut? Oh, no, wait, it's, it's not a halibut. Uh, cad? It's a mackerel. Uh, uh, tuna? Oh, no, salmon. Sturgeon? Uh, perch? Mackerel! Just say mackerel! Isn't it a great day for running, Garfield? There are no great days for running. Would someone like to propose that today and every day be declared Normal Cat Day? So moved. It has been moved. Is there a second? I second. It has been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye, aye, aye. The ayes have it. Now, would someone like to propose that I be on a stamp? Meow. I'm sorry, Mrs. Underwood. You didn't name that. Sauce. Should have said mackerel. Oh, maybe that's the pizza I ordered. Wait till you see what I thought of. Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. One moment, please. <laughs> Here is the pizza you ordered, kitty cat. <laughs> Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. <laughs> Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. 
I just realized, how come I have to do this and he gets to sit home and watch TV? How about if he runs and I stay home to eat and watch Name That Fish? Garfield, we aren't finished with our jogging yet. No, no, I can't take any more of this. He can come out here and throw the stick. When I was a kitten, people said, well, he can't get any cuter than that. And look, I fooled him. <sighs> this must stop. But enough about me. Let's talk about you, Garfield. What do you think are my most adorable qualities? <laughs> hey, you come back here. We didn't vote to adjourn yet. Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. Maybe next, I'll Here order Chinese food delivered. All right, Here your turn to jog with John, my turn to nap. You go throw the stick so the dog can fetch it. Here is the pizza you order. Here is the pizza you order. Here is the pizza. I'm not listening to Nermal another second. You gotta do it. Here is the pizza you order, the kitty cat. Well, I'm gonna make my own clone. No, I wanna make my clone. Wait a second. You're the clone. Bring it You're the clone. Meeting. I'm the cutest cat in the whole world. <laughs> What's what going on, on here? Stop! Everyone, stop! My cloning ray was missing, <gasps> and I figured only the cat could have taken it. I see you were right. My cat's sorry, but Doctor, you've got to get rid of all these extra me's and him's and... Not to worry. As you can see, the clones disappear after a while. Ah, so, all we have to do is wait and the extras will disappear. What do we do in the meantime? We have an idea. An idea and enough pizzas. Now for one million dollars and a jar of tartar sauce, name that fish! Uh, herring! Uh, uh, shrimp! Shrimp! Uh, we tried! Great white Ground shrimp! Ground shrimp! like herring! How about it? You know, except for pizza, you can have an excess of anything in this world. You can even have too much of yourself. We agree! for ice cream. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Don't waste your time, Garf. Squeak, how'd you know I was up here? I know all, I see all, and I see that the ice cream truck will hit a pothole in the street, and a case of chocolate num num bars with almonds will pop out. Chocolate num num bars with almonds. Told you, I have developed the power to see into the future. <laughs> by the way, the garbage truck is about to come by, and when it hits the same pothole, you'll be covered with 30 pounds of rotten mackerel. You know, I always like a little smelly fish with my chocolate num num bars. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now that I'm defished, I need to find out how Squeak did that. 
<sighs> you want to know how I know what's going to happen before it happens. John's doing chores. He's about to hit his thumb with a hammer. How could you possibly know? Oh, 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 oh that hurts! Oh. I'll hide. He's gonna come in and say, oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that big hammer. <laughs> oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that <laughs> big hammer! And now he's gonna trip over Odie. Odie, oh, look out! <laughs> and you're gonna wander off wondering how I do this. <laughs> Right again. You're wondering, too. Well, I'll let you in on the secret. I've been doing something you've been doing. That's right. In fact, you're doing it right this second. Come on. I've been watching the Garfield Show. John got this new satellite dish with all these new channels. And on one of them, guess what I found? Here it comes. Boy, what I won't do for ice cream. <laughs> yes! Here it goes. So you see, the reason I know what's going to happen before it happens is that I've seen this cartoon already. Yeah, really. John and Garfield, they don't know about this terrific channel. And they don't know I've been recording episodes and storing them on the video recorder here. The episode you're watching? It's a rerun, and I recorded it three weeks ago. Here, I'll jump ahead. I'll jump ahead. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Let's see what happens in the next scene. Squeak, I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future, future, future. Deal. <laughs> That's coming up. I better get in there so I can be in that scene. Huh? Okay, here's my idea, Odie. I'll give out Squeak's predictions and I'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future, future. <laughs> oh. Oh. Squeak, I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future, future, future. Deal. <laughs> come on, Odie. Let's get to work. Uh -huh. Now comes the part where I give Garfield predictions and he passes them on to John. Garfield, I don't know how you knew that meteor was going to crash down to Earth. But you shoved me aside just in time. <laughs> and earlier, you guessed who'd win that soccer match, and you even knew the final score. <gasps> Is it possible you've become the cat who can predict the future? 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 Hmm. How did I know you were going to say that? Why? The scientific community has been rocked by reports of a cat that can predict the future. In the last seven days, Garfield Cat has predicted the outcome of the American World Series, the outcome of the Indianapolis 500 motor race, and the outcome of the legendary Kentucky Derby. He also amazingly predicted that those three events, usually held months apart, would all, for some reason, take place in the same week. But perhaps the cat's most impressive forecast came to You're famous, Garfield. Exchange. I don't know how you do it. Tonight, Garfield's powers will be tested on a special telecast of the TV series Somebody's Got Talent. If he can indeed predict the future, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> 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 That's right! We'll win one million dollars! I'll win one million dollars. I'm going to get ready to go down to the station. Come on, Odie! Ready to go, Squeak? I'll meet you down there, Garf. There's something I gotta do first. Suit yourself. Just make sure you're there to give me the predictions so I'll pass their test. John probably thinks I'll spend the whole million on lasagna, but that's silly. I'll spend half on ravioli. I realized something. I realized I'd never watched the end of this episode. Here we go, guys. When we return home, we'll have a million bucks. I'll have a million bucks. I need to know what happens in the end so I'll know what to tell Garfield is going to happen. 
What? Episode deleted? That can't be. I I must have accidentally hit the delete button. It's gone. What am I gonna do if I can't watch the end of this episode? I know. This episode is on right now. It is. You're watching it, right? Well, then I can watch it. I just need to turn to the channel. The Garfield Show will not be seen, so we can bring you tonight's special edition of Somebody's Got Talent! No, oh, no! We've been preempted. The show's not on. Quick, call the station and complain. <laughs> oh, no. Garfield's gonna be so mad. And right now, that's the only thing I can predict. And now, the host of Somebody's Got Talent, Dr. Whipple! Uh, good evening. As usual, I'm joined tonight by the lovely actress, Kate Turkey Baster. I vote no. Not yet. Wait until there's an act on stage. And also with us is the famous food critic, Eddie Gourmand. Hello, world! That's right. I'm talking to each and every one of you. Ready to go on, Garfield? No. Where's my mouse? Tonight, our first contestant is a local cat who claims to be able to predict the future. I vote yes! Not yet. We've arranged a special test, which of course he will fail, because it's impossible to predict the future. I just knew you'd say that. I vote no. You stay out of this. I have every right to say what I want to say. Well, when do we go? I can't talk to you. don't know what you're talking well, about. How did you it's know that? This is All right. Say, and I can even Come talk on. about food if I want. Can I get a word in here, please? <laughs> Gotta get there. No. <laughs> no. Garfield will be asked to predict which of the 52 playing cards I will draw from the deck. If he's right, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> and just to make things interesting, if Garfield is wrong, his owner, Mr. Arbuckle, will be dropped into this <laughs> vat containing 10 tons of rancid cottage cheese. I voted for soft frozen yogurt. Ooh, I love soft frozen yogurt. All right, Garfield. For one million dollars, what card did I pick? <laughs> Uh, uh. Squeak, where are you? You have 15 seconds, Garfield. Squeak, how could you abandon me like this? I'm gonna have to just take a wild guess. I'll pick the three of clubs. Huh? Uh oh. I'm just gonna have to guess. Uh, Jack of Diamonds? Time's up, Garfield. What card am I holding? <sighs> the Jack of Diamonds? No, I'm sorry. It was the Three of Clubs. Oh. <sighs> huh? Garfield! Is John mad at you? No, not really. He did say, though, that the only thing he's gonna feed me for the next year is rancid cottage cheese. Hey, Squeak, how did you make those accurate predictions? I've been watching the Garfield show. What? This show. It's on this great channel I found on the TV. Look. Whoa. Is John mad at you? You've just been watching this episode? Uh, squeak, when I get my hands uh -oh. on you, yeah. Don't hurt me, Garfield. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm flying over Earth. I decided to stock up on my favorite Earth food. They call them marshmallows. I got a whole cargo hold full of them. Error, you opened the storage hold. There goes your supply of marshmallows. Oh no! I have to get it back. Hey, 
good to see you again, Odie. You wouldn't have seen something falling from the sky, would you? <laughs> oh, like you, Odie. You deserve a reward. This is a forever doggy cookie. It's yours. <laughs> Interesting cookie, is it not? It reconstructs itself after each bite. Thus, you never run out of cookie. <laughs> right? You might want to hide the cookie in that hole there. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have given him that cookie. Might it not have an unpredictable effect on an earth dog? <laughs> the most unpleasant invention in the history of mankind. The doggy tongue alarm clock. Go annoy John. It says here that the longer you have pets, the more you start to take after them. That's a theory some doctors have. It's not true. Hi, Odie. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too, fella. I have some literature out in my car about this idea of owners taking on the characteristics of their pets. I'll be right back with it. Gee, if I start acting like my pets, I hope I take after Odie and not Garfield. <laughs> I don't think I could eat all that lasagna. <laughs> Odie, get this through that thick doggy skull of yours. I told you to leave me alone. No, John, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. the article, John. It says pet owners rarely act like their animals. John? Oh! oh ew! I think he wants you to rub his belly. John, this isn't funny. This is... <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that whoever this is is going to make things worse? I have a registered letter here for Mr. R. Stop it, O.D. You shouldn't... For some reason, the mailman has gone out to bite mailmen. O.D., somehow I have the idea you're responsible for this. <gasps> I have to figure out what's happening. I'd better go to the one place where you can find out anything you want to know about anything. The Internet. I'll do a search for silly cartoonists acting like silly or dog. <laughs> I found a chat room with people who watch this cartoon. Garfield doesn't know that Odie Slurps transmit alien dog disease, LOL. So that's it. Garfield reading our online chat to figure out what's going on. Away from keyboard. <laughs> By the way, OdieFan99, you misspelled my name. I before E. Uh, if their Slurps pass on this doggy thing to others, I better keep them all in the house. I wonder where I can get a flea color that fits John. <gasps> they got away. <laughs> I have to stop them before it's too late. <laughs> huh? It's too late. Down, boy. You're not a dog. You're John's insurance man. 
<laughs> he was like this the time John filed the claim, too. <laughs> There, there. Good insurance, man. Good boy. But I'm really too late. <laughs> Looks like an emergency. Maybe the governor can do something. What if I'm reelected? I, I promise, promise that I will, I will rid this city of all the stray animals, animals that are roaming our streets. streets. Why, you see how much the government employees love me? They even lick my face. Which <laughs> You know, that's the most intelligent speech he's given in eight years. Look, I know you don't do this very often, but think, did anything unusual happen to you lately? A friend from outer space came by and gave you a weird cookie? Uh-huh. Earth is doomed! Nimbus is probably a bajillion miles from here now. I'll never be able to find him and get him to undo this. Greetings, Garfield. Huh? Nimbus? I was worried about what effect that doggy treat would have on Odie, so I came to check on him. But I see he's fine, so I'll be on my way. No, wait, no, don't go. Do you know what's going on all over our city? Take a look! What do you make of these reports that a strange epidemic is turning every human being on this planet into a dog? <laughs> In other news, city firemen report long lines at most hydrant. It all started with Odie and that cookie you gave him. I'm sorry. Well, there's nothing I can do. There's no antidote. Every person and animal on Earth will soon be a dog once someone licks them. <gasps> Even you. Well, this is terrible. Wait, I've been licked today by Odie many times. And, and I'm still me. You haven't been infected. That might mean cats are immune. Quick, stick out your tongue. I need a sample of your saliva to create an antidote. I've sampled your cat's spit and synthesized a breakdown of its molecular structure. You folks in the chat rooms probably understand this. <sighs> Antidote successfully created. Great! Now, we have to spray this all over everyone who's been licked. <laughs> Begin spraying Antidote. I don't know what 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 happened. I just right, and then I went over it and I got an extra can of milk. Did you? I don't know. It was terrible. Uh... <laughs> oh, of course. So the other three is, but huh? it's wonderful. Wait a minute. Uh, what? Uh, that, that was absolutely. Antidote successful. All humans have been decontaminated. One more thing I must take care of. <laughs> oh, sorry, Odie, but you can't keep the forever doggy cookie. It would create another contagion. Huh? But. You can have these instead. How does a forever doggy cookie work? Oh, like this. You take a bite, and then the cookie restores itself. Then you take another bite, and the cookie restores itself. They wouldn't happen to make... Nope. There is no forever kitty oh. lasagna. Rats. Farewell again, my friends. Come on, Odie. Let's go eat. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I know it's weird, guys, but I have this craving for Odie's dog food. <laughs> Nimbus said it might take a while to wear off with some people. <sighs> well, until it does, I guess you have to walk him for a change. Huh?